Hi guys, welcome back to part 30 of Developing Detroit. And I'm going to start today off by saying, with regards to the series, what would you guys think on, maybe I do it till the end of this week and then I move on to a new team. Because I don't want the series to get stale at all and we're coming towards the end anyway. And I'm thinking, I'll try and grind for the, the, the entire week and we'll work our way to whatever players we can, hopefully. I'll be able to grind up to at least one of the big cards. But they're just releasing so many at the moment. It's really hard when you're not spending a lot of money on the game to get all the big cards. So I'm thinking five, six more episodes. Maybe on Sunday I'll start the a new series with a new team. Same style. So I'll work my way through a team again. But it'll just be a different team. So maybe a certain few of you support. I don't know the Ravens, for example. I'll do it on the Ravens, but I'll do um, I'll do a, a sort of vote video that I'll leave up for a day or two, where you can vote on what team you want me to do, and I'll go with that one for the next series. But let me know what you guys think of that at the end of the week, so I'll get to maybe thirty-five episodes, and I'll do the same amount of episodes for another team, and go through a few teams that way until we get to Madden seventeen. And even then, I might do it on Madden 17 because I'm really enjoying doing this type of series. But let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. <clears throat> anyway, on with today's episode. Just thought I'd throw that in at the start so everyone does hear what I'm thinking about doing. We add in two people this episode. We add in Nagata and we add in free safety Calvin Johnson. But I'm putting him at strong safety because Glover Quinn's incredible at free safety. And I don't want to swap him around. And Calvin's out position guard is very similar to the old strong safety we have who I cannot for the life of me pronounce his name but I'm hoping he'll be getting a lot of picks and when he does get a pick getting a pick six will be pretty doable with that free safety safety Calvin because of how quick how tall and strong he is but since we're going to try and get this series over 35 episodes we've got still got four players I've already bought to get into the team and I've got 128k to work with so I can still get a few extra players in I'll probably be adding in one two players an episode to speed it up for the end so we can get in as many as we can so once again comment down below who you want me to put in I'm just comparing this Broyles card here to Calvin because there is a 92 Calvin which I'm going to try and get in because I can obviously afford it and his price has dropped a fair amount so I'll try and get that one in but Ryan Broyles will be a breath of fresh air, I think, to the offence because we haven't got too many people left on the offensive side of the ball, actually, to put in the team, like, different player-wise. Like, there's a lot of versions of Calvin. There's another version of Stafford. But, I mean, a whole new player. We haven't used a Ryan Broyles all series. I don't think I don't think he has a, another card. And if he does, it was early on in the silvers or the bronzes. But you can see the players left to put in on the screen right now, on the checklist. Um, it's like I said, still a fair few on there. A fair few, I, I mean, getting the Ultimate Legend Calvin, I think, might be a bit unrealistic for the series since it's the first team I'm going to do it with. But once I've grinded through a few farm accounts, I'll probably be able to work my way up to an Ultimate Legend. And it just so happens that Calvin happen is the most expensive Ultimate Legend, unfortunately. But once again, let's try and get 15 likes on the series. It's great to continuously get likes. Uh, comment down below. What you think of the idea of, you know, p putting the series to bed soon, I suppose. And subscribe for more, and I will jump into a game now. So guys, jumping into a game here with two new players, both on defence. Um, I've got a pretty stacked defence now, actually. If you think about it, the Lions actually have a pretty decent defence overall on Madden anyway. <clears throat> so we're jumping in. We're getting things rolling. I'm getting more used to the run now. I'm starting to think about when to run a bit more often as opposed to just running as soon as I pick a play, if it's a run, just going for it anyway. I'm thinking, okay, I, I know if the run's not going to work, I'm not going to go for it. And this mesh play, I'm loving. But we get picked off there as soon as we go or try and go to Golden Tate. So unfortunately, that was bad read on my part. I shouldn't have gone for that. Luckily, we stopped the pitch play there. I mean, if he'd have gotten round that one guy, he would have been clean away. And I don't think we would have stopped him because he was a big... I can't remember who he had at running back, but he was a pretty hefty running back. And he would have 
been far enough away that I wouldn't have been able to catch up to him except my safety, and he probably would have trucked my safety. But luckily, we made him punt. And we've got the ball back. So, you know, we're trying to get our offense going again. It's still in the first quarter, so we know we've still got time to score, like a lot of time to score. And this route, he couldn't handle it all game. Like, Bron, once again, being the MVP of the game. And that slant route across the pitch, just, he couldn't handle it pretty much. So we're going to keep abusing it while we can. As you can see, we're going to keep coming out, out in the mesh play. I was trying to mix it up, but he was running a very lockdown defence over the middle and long. So I had to go for short passes. Otherwise, I wasn't getting anywhere. Or runs. I mean, I was running and passing, but I'll probably show more of the passes because they're the more they're the plays that get them more yards, to be perfectly honest. But as you can see, I went for that route again. I don't know why I did. I knew it wasn't going to work, but I just wanted to force the play. And he managed to intercept it again. I mean, I was consistently getting yards with the uh, mesh play, a brawn across the pitch, but I just thought I'd mix it up. First time I did, and he got a pick again. And I went in gauge eight there because I was trying to get the sack, and I very nearly did. Very unlucky to not get it, I think. But he made a good read. He uh, sort of worked his way out a little bit. He's got a bit of breathing room now. And we're going to try. We're going to try and get an interception and Calvin making an unbelievable play. Could have got a pick six there if he shrugged off that one tackle, but. That free safety, Calvin, making plays at strong safety. As you can see, route across the pitch, consistently working. Like, I can't stress it enough. If a play is working, just abuse it. If they can't handle certain plays, abuse them. This guy couldn't handle the run to the left, and I was just abusing it with Abdullah as often as I could because he could fit through those gaps, and he could consistently get four to six yards, which, over time, is going to work. It's just not going to be the most glamorous of wins, like, you know, those classic... 50 yard bombs people get other other youtubers get to calvin johnson or boss des brian i mean i can't abuse stuff like that so i've got to try and find out a few other ways to try and score and i'm really enjoying it it's a hell of a challenge just because i mean i can do those big bomb plays with the likes of herman moore but i can't get them as consistently as if you have 99 or 98 calvin johnson because he's just going to come down with them 80 percent of the time and for me, that takes a little bit of fun out of it if you have that option. It takes a bit of the skill out of the game if you're just getting 50 yards constantly. But we managed to get one in, luckily. We got him to 4th and 20. He went for it for some reason. I think he should have just taken the field goal and tried to get a defensive stop because it wasn't like I was free scoring. I mean, I was. I, I got in. I was consistently working my way upfield. I was just making stupid mistakes. And we make a brilliant read there with Abdullah we see the left hand side is clean open for a run we make it we have to spin one guy which is pretty simple and we manage to get in and Burton's going to get another touchdown so this guy's goal line defense wasn't brilliant to say the least I mean he never overloaded the middle so getting a fullback dive was really really simple to be honest I mean he was gambling on it with his user a few times but I could just fake him out and it was once I got to the goal line, I scored, pretty much. Except that one pick, which we're not going to mention. But he's still got a bit of time. I mean, he's still got three minutes. I'm still feeling pretty confident at this point that I'm going to win. So I'm quite relaxed at this point, you know. Still not rushing play picks. And we get a nice sack there from Answer. And once again, Answer's chasing him down. Like It looks like I'm nano blitz in there, and Answer is all over it. But we got fourth and 31. And we're in the formation he's in. He's not going to make that unless he gets very lucky. Because you can see we have double coverage both sides. He has to throw to one of the sides. And he's just not going to make it. So 14-0 with not long left. I mean, I dragged out the clock a fair bit. And as you can see, we're going to take the points. But we're actually going to go for a fake field goal. And he was so open. He just had the turning circle of a bus and decided he didn't want to throw it. As you can see, we were our line was all over in this game. Like I can't remember comparison wise how much better our line was. But it was a fair bit better now that we've got all the good upgrades in there. Like we've got a ninety odd rated line in general. But the game did end there, fourteen nil. We'll take another blowout. Um if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Comment down below question of the day and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.